This one is excellent, Faith by the Cure. Michael, how are you? Welcome to the show again. Now listen, um, look, there's stacks of questions I could ask you. Congratulations on the loved one. Congratulations on the album, Keep On Walking, the whole thing. Um, but I'm very curious, why didn't you release a second uh, single off the album, especially in vain? I mean, I've been... Uh, well, we always intended to release just one single off the album. Right. Because we want to get on to recording this new album. We had a lot of material that we really were working on. Right. And uh, which we're going to start after this tour in July. And uh, the loved one was something that wasn't so serious as Just Keep Walking. It was fun, you know? Well, it was very curious because, I mean, like, uh, some friends of mine, Peter from RCA especially, who handles your product down here, yeah. uh, played me in vain when I first got the album, and I just thought, what a track. Then I heard you were doing the love one, and I thought, what a peculiar choice, considering you weren't taking a second single off. Yeah. And the love one, I mean, it was by an Australian group 10 or 12 years ago. Yeah. What, uh, was it just something you guys yeah, wanted to do? Yeah, uh, it's Australian. I think it's a classic in itself. Oh, it is, isn't know? it? Uh, we like to find conventions. <laughs> right. Yeah. Now listen, um, I hate to say this, but you've also becoming sort of a bit of a cult hero, Michael. Am I? Yes. A lot of people are sort of saying, oh, Michael, Michael, like that. When are you touring? Uh, we're touring right now. This yeah. Monday we start. Right. And we take off for about uh, two or three weeks everywhere. Right. And uh, then we start recording the album. Well, I tell you what, you can't, can't go past the debut album like the first one. And I wish you luck with the second. Okay. And uh, if you're out there, please go and see them because they're an excellent group. All right, this lady coming up now, she's been over and back again to America. No, I'm not going to say anything nasty to her, eh? In fact, she, in my book, and I said it on uh, actually a Channel 7 program, would you believe, when I had to nominate the finest female singer for Australia that I thought of over the last 10 years. Her name was Renee Gaia. She still is the finest singer in my book. And she's got a great new single out. Here she is. Welcome back, Renee. Renee, say I love you.